guys to be able to enjoy, so that's why we do giveaways. And obviously, the sub goal just kind of helps pad the, the shipping costs and all that good stuff. All right. Um, let me color coat these cadets really quick. It's got red, yellow, and green. And then on that side, we have a yellow and a red. So let's do that. First player is Scott. Matt is not first player. In fact, I don't think it really matters, but it, it might with Luke. But guys, sorry, I just changed it. Matt is not first player. It is Deslin. The, our first class, or the Iron Man, aka first class male, aka Des Vader. Um, I think these guys are ready to go. And here we go. We are underway. We've got a two turn from red. We, let me get yellow in here in the overlay and let me get green. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. If you guys uh, played in Scarif, please let me know. Are you alive? Are you are you awake right now? How did it go? I know we were getting some updates from people in uh, our Discord on how they were doing. Congratulations, Max, for a great run at the top for Empire. Sammy made it. Uh, congratulations, both of you guys. Well played. So let me check in on the betting here really quick because I don't believe... I believe it's a little lopsided right now. Looks like First Order is heavily favored. I'm betting on my E-Wings. You guys underestimate, by the way, how good Matt Carey is at X-Wing. So exclamation point bet. Uh, two. 10,000. I'm putting 10,000. Boom. Shutting down their early E-Wing locks. That, that's fine. You just got to remember that Kylo obviously can't shoot while he's cloaked. So the E-Wings might have an opportunity to uh, get the locks later. Um, Matt did throw locks on... Uh, oh, no, he did. That was... Interesting. That's because of the jams. That makes sense. He still jam. Even First Order's jamming. Enhanced jamming so he gives Kylo more flexibility. Jam his own buddies. But yeah, Scramblers is a really good, uh, I think it's one point, just a dirt cheap uh, counter against like the experimental scanners and just locks in general, getting those crucial early locks. Luke really wishes he could hit Kylo with a plasma. And we do have a slow roll from the E-Wings, makes sense. Uh, kind of want to gauge where the committal is going to be from the First Order Cadets. If you get too aggressive, I've I've played about 100 games with the E-Wings, which might not seem like a lot considering most of you know how much I love them. Uh, but if you get too aggressive early, you pay for it dearly. But Pattern Analyzer does help uh, give you more flexibility when getting re-engaged. Also, Elusive and Pattern Analyzer with those sloops is really good. And the hard one, allowing to uh, recover elusive and get, a, get an action. Also, pretty good. E-Wings, strong. Yeah, I mean, Colfax and I played a game earlier where I just loaded up the E-Wings like, to like 73 points and just, you know, uh, R3, elusive, pattern analyzer, protons. Um, just really, really strong. Uh, the Alpha Strike tankiness that they have now with because of pattern analyzer, which... Honestly, kind of breaks the rules. I mean, if, I mean, a lot of upgrade cards break the rules. Pattern Analyzer literally is just like, it doesn't matter when you do a red maneuver. Like, you will get an action. But taking advantage of it. Hashtag damn fine ship. You bet your ass it is. Agreed, agreed. Let's see. Any more bets for the Ewings now? It is a split. It is 50-50. We've got a few more people jumping on the Matt Carey bandwagon. Thanks again, everyone, for being here tonight. If this is your first time, let me know. I think I think uh, Twitch chat lets me know that's your first time, but still. Thanks for hanging out. And we got a three bank here. We got Red is a little far away from his buddy, um, but we're gonna have a face off with the uh, Red Bomber, kind of also far away from his buddies. Buddies are far away from their buddies. And just taking an evade. Luke. I like where Luke is, though. Luke is 
in a prime position to sneak behind, get behind, get some good, maybe a good plasma torpedo shot off or two. And getting that lockout early, that's what you need to do. Moving after uh, Kylo is huge because you get that lock set up. Uh, he, he has to jam away the lock before, and then you just get it back when you move. Here we go. We got a range three shot. We do have a lock. Uh, red does have a lock on red. Uh, I believe Matt also has a focus token out there. This is a double modded shot. That is three hits. Who needs mods? <laughs> that is how Matt Carey rolls. And that is going to be one damage. Could have been worse for Deslin here. One damage on red. Shield down. Two from half. And we will have one shot back. This is going to be real hard to deal damage. But hit crit. Unbelievable. They don't need to spend their mods. And safe. You burn the focus and you are good. Three fades. And we got nothing else. Now leads me to bingo. Guys, we're playing bingo on stream tonight. We did have a uh, double modded attack. Although we didn't use the double mods yet. So we're not going to mark it. We got natties though. So far... Uh, we haven't had a five forward. Uh, did we get a bump from Kylo here? Kylo did Kylo did not bump. So, here's the deal, guys. If you want to claim bingo when we get bingo, because I'm going to play with you guys, you have to go to our Discord to where it says weekly bingo card and mark bingo on the latest uh, comment of the thread that I posted that said mark bingo if we get bingo tonight. And I will pay out 500 credits to you. That's the that's the way to, to mark it. Otherwise, I'm giving literally everyone that has ever watched the 312 stream free credits, which just doesn't seem fair for us. So that's what you need to do. Okay, cool. Well, let's... Yeah, I feel like during Enlist Chaos, it's always like a lot of just like who needs mods, really. Which is it's just super funny. Um, and. It might seem weird, but my experience with TTS is I feel like I don't need to spend my tokens nearly as much as I feel like I, I need to. Like, when I set myself up to have everything I need, and then it's like... I mean, it's a good problem to have, but it is weird when it happens, like, so often. Like, damn, my dice are, like, a little too hot right now. I, th I took this focus so I could use it. Like, earlier, I had... was When I was playing Colfax, I had it wedged down to one hole with a structural damage. And I was going to take a range two shot from behind. I got into range one of, of Jake. I'm like, cool, I'm just going to be four dice on two. I could just kill Jake here, initiative kill him. Do I take the focus? Do I take the lock? I'm going to die. I just know I'm going to die. I'm like, okay, when in doubt, you focus. And I roll two blanks and two hits. And then he shot me. And I'm like, do I at least get to spend the focus? And I didn't get to spend the focus because I rolled a natural evade and still died. So it's anecdotal bias, but... Still, it's kind of silly when it happens. Confirmation bias is the best, man. I mean, that's when people are like, I don't play the V-Wing because I roll bad. Or because, like, they pop so easily. It's like, well, you're just having bad luck at times, right? You know, like... It's the... the no one ship rolls better than another. It's just dice. <laughs> it's always so funny when people talk about that. Interesting here, we got a, we got a thermal detonator drop from Red... And then we we have the uh, boost and then the one bank. I think Matt Matt just does a one hard. That's not a bad spot to be in. I don't think we're gonna see a bank or a sloop from red. Here we go with yellow, and we got maybe a mini kill box here, on yellow, from the first order cadets in the center there. I mean, it really is. Oh, there is a sloop. Uh, gonna have to barrel roll. Unless Matt doesn't care about taking one, potentially taking one damage, right? This the the unfortunate thing is with R three, you don't can't clear the stress on anything but a one bank if you want to bank. Uh, so feedback feedback ping. It's throwing the locks over red now. Yep, there's the barrel roll. Pattern Analyzer coming in handy, taking the stress. And a one bank sets himself up to barrel roll here. Going to barrel roll left. 
That's true though, man. If you can't get mad at your green knights if you only roll one. And if you if Braylon, you get that extra chance. It's like Braylon's always got elusive, you know? Kylo's saying, I think I'm gonna take a little time out of the fight to get in a better position. Extreme maneuvers though. Extreme maneuvers on any three force carrying force user is really, really good. I wanna see a, ooh, a, oh, he didn't turn in. He did another four forward. Get a boost here. I mean, I like getting behind, but I would have loved it three hard and, and maybe bash green with a, with a plasma. So the thermal detonator goes off. It hits nothing. Absolutely nothing from red. Yellow will have an obstructed shot in range two. Will be three on three here. Yellow does not have uh, a target lock right now. Oh no, he does. Does have a lock. It was hidden. Doesn't need it. Oh my gosh. What is this madness? And two blanks taking two. That is shields down on yellow. Madness. Absolute madness early on from the E Wings. <laughs> they don't need the help, but they get it anyways. Here's the shot back. This is the shot that I always hate the most because I feel like this is where I take damage. Uh, and there is... The, do you use Elusive here? You get one Evade. Oh, he's fine. He didn't spend his focus. Oh, he had two last turn. Safe. He's safe. Hit Eyeball. This is going to be range 3 obstructed. Spending the focus. Can you get two Evades? You can. Plenty of paints. Plenty of paints. Easy, I know, just just ridiculous. Back to dials. Let's check up on our bingo card here. What did we get? We have not gotten a blank out. We have gotten an obstructed shot. Lots of that's stacked. I don't know why. Here we go. There we go. Bullseye trigger, no linked actions, not yet. Missile attack, not quite. Reroll blank to blank, not quite. We haven't got, been able to, we had to get an evade action early on. No token passing. All right. Nothing else yet. Yes, yeah, Colfax, you gotta, it has to be a double modded, like true double modded. It was reroll and spend. So that's, that one's actually a little harder to, to, to get pulled off because I feel like it's usually just one that gets used, but hey, I mean, the power of the double modded attack, it's, it's quite good, except when Luke takes a target lock, rolls four eyeballs, <laughs> and then rerolls two of the eyeballs and two eyeballs. Oh man, that's always so much fun. Good stuff. Alright, we're all about set to get going here again. Betting is officially closed. Let's see our split now. Yeah, 50-50. 57k worth of credits in the loot box. I'm, of course, rooting for my dear friends, the E-Wings, but we'll see how it plays out. This is going to be a good game. I have a good feeling about this being a close, entertaining game, especially with the way the dice have been flying so far. Now, positionally, I think we could... I don't know if a hard turn will fit from green, like, in front of that rock. Yellow could bank in. So could red. But, look out Luke. Luke is coming. Here we go, with starting off with the boost here. And then a three hard. Hello, red. How are you doing? Checking for the lock. Just gets it. Uh, He took a focus instead. What was the lock for? What was the check for range three for? Somebody fill me in because I have no idea what, what that was about. Checking again for a target lock. Moving it over. Oh, just not enough space for the one hard from yellow here. 
Here's a sloop, though. That he will have an opportunity to shoot a range three obstructed shot into either of those bombers. And what does he opt to do here? Do you boost to get a better opportunity? No, he just sits there uh, without a token. Oh, they forgot a decloak, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's all right, guys. That's yeah, okay. Taking the focus of power analyzer. All right, we're good. We're all caught up now. Hello, Red, and hello, Killbox. The question is, does the jam... Was a three hard or a three bank and a boost get into range one for the jam? Or do you, can you land a bullseye? Don't think you can land... Well, maybe. A three bank and a boost could land bullseye on Red. Boosting into range one? Okay. Matt says, if I'm going to roll the way I've been rolling, I don't care where I am and if I have a green token. I'm invincible. I'm the Iron Man. Checking. Does... Does get Bullseye. Jam. Oh, no. There goes the target lock. It's gone. That's true, no Ion Torps at range 1. That was probably the decision, like, what kind of went into that decision. Luke does clip the debris. This is kind of where, you know, playing a lot of in-person games like Matt and I have recently, it can be tough gauging if you hit, you know, obstacles when you get back in the TCS. T -T -C -T -T -S. Uh, we'll have a shot, though. I think the wings are open now. We'll have a shot into red. So here we go. It is going to be range two, I believe. Spend the lock for three hits. That is range two. And we get, oh, a complete whiff. This is where you use elusive, I think. You try, you reroll one. Oh, that's a really bad start, though. He's just taking all the shields, so that's half points on red. Shattering shot, that's right. Matt can use shattering shot here. Uh, oh, it's unobstructed. Damn, never mind. Let me fix the overlay here. So here we go with Luke. Spinning that force, 4-3. That's going to be two eyeball results. This is in to green. Green could be initiative killed here. That's two damage into green. I think I might have marked the wrong... One of them still has shields up. Yellow still has shields up. Green is shields down. And lastly, shields down on red. Here we go. Range one. Unmodded. What the hell? Two hits, two crits. Unbelievable, <laughs> just like that. Down goes green. Oh my god. What on earth? Hold on, Wilhelm screams. There we go. Can I get some rips in the chat, please? Can I get some rips in the chat for green? <laughs> what are Matt's dice? I mean, he did blank out, so I guess like he made a trade. He made a deal with the devil there. Take half points to... Now you try to get... Maybe you get yellow to spend the focus? Two hits? Spending the focus. Three evades. All right. Oh, man. 32 to 43. And it has been entertaining, like I said. So yellow's going to shoot back. Yellow is a double modded shot here. This is an opportunity to kill the E-Wing. Got to spend the lock. Got to get that third hit. Gets three. This could happen, folks. But Matt's going to roll three evades. He rolls one. Elusive. Do it. Oh, no. Did he not? He's, he's opting not to use elusive here. So why did he only take one damage?
I'm very confused now. Okay. That was the shot into Luke. Okay, so one damage on red. I'm gonna check in with them. Hey guys, I think I might be a total fool. How come uh, red took one damage instead of two? Uh, on, he he, on he had a shoot. Shot no, so so the last shot from uh, yellow was three hits, right? And yeah. range one into and then yeah. you rolled blank blank evade. So should it be two damage or just the? One? I did. I took a shield and a. Oh, a card. okay. I thought you took three shields earlier when you blanked out. No, you only it, took it, two. It, 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 it was a uh, it was an evade. It looked like a blank, but in oh, the chat it said yeah. it was fooled just me. Gonna I have yeah. the chat off. I'm a fool. No, <laughs> it, it, that makes sense because it, it looked like three blanks to me. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, back to it. Yeah, I don't have the chat log on, so it looked like a blank earlier. It wasn't a complete whiff, so it, it's still a half, but it's two hole on red, which is a lot better for Matt here. Uh, let's check up on Bingo. We did get an initiative kill. Uh, not a one-shot kill, um, though. We had two shots. Let's see. Uh, no jam. I don't have jam on this card. Double modded attack. We did get that. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say the reroll. We can actually no. I like I said earlier. He didn't spend the focus. So we're not bullseye trigger for the jam though. Three tokens at once. We did get that. Two plus crits happened. No missile attack quite yet. We didn't get a complete blank out. We thought we did, but we didn't. No simultaneous fire. Outmaneuvered. Luke's or uh, yellow shot was behind. So a one shot kill. We are a one shot kill away. All right. What a game. <laughs> uh, I like, if, if you are uh, on the E-Wing camp, I think you have to like where uh, the, the positioning and just kind of what things are, the way things are looking right now. Um, Luke is in a decent spot to take advantage of what Luke likes to take advantage of. He does have uh, regen, he does have plasmas. Red is one shield down. We did lose green, and we have a full health yellow currently. The question is, can he take advantage of the ion missiles? Or is it ion, tor it's ion torpedoes? It is ion torpedoes. Here we go with the thermal detonator dropping to. If I'm mad, I don't know if I necessarily, I care if I'm, if red, red cares. Ooh boy, hello. Here we go with the uh, shooting forward here with uh, yellow. Kylo is, is coming in for the kill, though. He is hunting red. Red does a three hard. Feedback ping. Getting that lock. And it is boosty boost time. Get, get that rock coverage. I think you just boost forward. There's the boost. One bank. I think you can... Ooh. I think you have to barrel roll here and all the way back, and then next turn you can one hard and pattern analyzer. There it is. What? Which way are we going? Or are we going all the way back? Going middle. I say it is very quiet tonight um seems like even when gsp is not streaming but they stream the same day it's just the numbers are bad well, not bad but low <laughs> but thanks to everyone that is here obviously appreciate you guys it's one of the quieter nights we've had in a while i know it's saturday night so you know maybe some people are getting getting drunk 
instead of watching X-Wing. Ooh, there's a bump, so it clears the stress, but it's going to hit the debris again. Don't roll that crit, Luke. We love Nick. Thanks, man. Love you, too. Honestly, I, I'm just happy that people are around to talk. You know, it really, I don't, if it's, whether it's one person versus ten. Obviously, you'd prefer to have ten. But if you have one and they're talking to you, that's cool. Works for me. And there's my girlfriend saying that we do love Nick. Why, thank you. So sweet. She she's clearly hasn't gotten to... She's still on her commute. She has time to watch. Thanks for watching. Hit, hit, crit. Damn. Okay. Rolling in one more. There you go. Eyeball results. That is going to be a shield on yellow and an eye on eye and eye is yellow ouch that matters but luke luke will be right there he's like not, not so fast you son of a bitch although i think luke probably just goes into kylo here red can can kind of try to help out if he can we're back to dials we did get a missile attack. I'm calling missiles uh, munitions, really. So torpedoes count. Um, I think I called it a missile by accident. It's an ion torpedo that we saw. Um, like actions. And, all right. You're right. We did get a bump, obviously, with Luke. Where is the bump? It's right in front of me. It's right there. Nice. Thank you, Colfax. Shout out to Colfax, the MVP. The true MVP. I'm going to take a moment here, guys, to talk about... If you guys are interested, we are doing a uh, a league, another league. It's season five. We took a bit of a break. So um, if you're interested in joining, we do start on Wednesday, October 27th. That's just next week. So it's five bucks if you're here in the U.S., seven if you are... Uh, overseas or outside of our borders of the u.s here just because of shipping uh we get an awesome thing kyrell exclusive from our partner with, partnership with paul larue thanks again paul larue for for partnering with us an amazing beautiful card and then drew Farion uh poached him from the midwest scrub <laughs> discord uh made a awesome anakin skywalker ada 2 uh altar and then we have a list chaos sticker as well so a bunch of cool prizes for low price really just goes towards the prizes that's about it and yeah exclamation point league if you're interested in joining we got some open slots left it's an awesome group of, of players very diverse fun set of lists and we just see yellow fly off the board yellow flies off the board ouch It's a little dark on that edge so yellow flies off the board that is a full set of points 43 points just like that this game has swung very hard yeah exclamation point redeem bob that's a dollar sign not great bob i'm not gonna count that as a one-shot kill you bastard <laughs> that's that's too bad for deslin there um has a decent shot into uh, yellow here. But yellow is, is going to have that focus and uh, uh, did burn elusive, though. Uh, red's going to just take a lock on Kylo. Well, uh, he can. And Kylo just blasts in. Boosting. Going to probably rotate the arc. believe you can link rotate. You can. So we'll have a rear arc shot. We have a one bank, and I, I, I would imagine a barrel roll to the right. Barrel roll there for the range one. It's fairly soon. It's probably going to be Kylo versus the world here. Here's Kylo spending a force for hit crit. Into Luke, who rolls like a god. Luke just does that, you know. Here we go, range one. The only mod is the is a force. That could be enough. 
Matt rolls three. The bomber gets uh, a blank or an eyeball result and an evade. Taking a shield and a card. Adds half points. We're gonna do some totally accurate battle simulator after our giveaways tonight, guys. So if you want to get a, you know a few more opportunities to bet on some fun shenanigans, we'll be doing that too. A few games, um, just one game tonight because uh, of Scarif. Everyone's tired. Here we go with that Ion Twerp shot. That's three, and that is going to hit once again. Spending, taking a damage, taking another Ion. So kind of making yellow pay a little bit here. And ionized again. Um, but Kylo is facing the other way. Luke is right behind red. And the red E-wing can easily just one bank. Um, ooh, does, no, one bank's not gonna... There's a one forward clear if you move yellow first. I don't think so. But uh, red's not stressed, so we could see maybe a two bank. You really wish you had a prox mine if you were uh, if you're Deslin right now. Yeah, I mean it's been the dice variance has definitely been a big factor. Uh, both sides have rolled a lot of paint results. There haven't been many blanks on defense. Except for that one time Matt rolled two blanks and an eyeball. Um, but I love the strategy with getting Luke. He's spending three turns to kind of, you know, before Luke engages, to be in a great position to make Deslin have to choose uh, in terms of hunting red or going in for Luke, who is a huge threat when he's moving last. Um, plasma torpedoes into a Whisper? No thanks. Actually, into really anything with shields. Um, here is a thermal detonator and a two hard. So one bank looks pretty good from Luke here. Or a one forward, even a two forward. Although that might get you a little too far. Taking the evade uh, and reloading. Reloading the thermal detonators. And here's the one forward. It does bump. Gets rid of that ion. At least he's not going to be ionized next turn. That's nice. Sloop! Now you probably just boost here. You've already got the target lock. You just boost with pattern analyzer, get a double or a single modded, but you got a lock. You got a lock, single. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Single modded with the target lock, range one shot. If you boost, he's going to sit there, range two with the focus instead. So he has everything he needs for three hits. Kylo going to Daredevil slash Extreme Maneuvers that. Boost, rotating back towards the front. He would like to shoot somebody. Luke, okay, Luke does a three hard. Huh. Only one shot going into red here with an evade. Hmm. Luke still has that lock on the uh, gas cloud. That matters here for that enhanced jamming suite. I don't know if we're going to see Luke fire a Plasma Torpedo or use R5 this game. I don't think it's going to happen. And guys, we have four, over 41 minutes left still. Ooh, now he moves the lock. Very interesting. There we go. Just throw that away. So the Thermal Detonator misses. And it's just going to be red. And Kylo, obviously. So Kylo range three into Luke. For one crit, Luke just needs one paint result. And he gets three eyeballs. He gets all the paint. Spends his force. Gets it back, like, right now. Or right after red shoots. Here we go. Range two. Uh, going to be hard to kill the bomber here. Because that evade, but uh, crits happen. There we go. It's a good, good start. Spend the focus. 
That is double modded. Attack there. And takes one crit. Crit is a hull breach. Oof. Hull breach. Let's see our bingo card here. Got our double modded attack. We haven't gotten that one shot kill. Maybe, maybe next turn. Let's see. Reroll blank to blank. Not yet. One shot kill is all we need for bingo, guys. Pilo linked. Uh, that is right. You did the daredevil. Yes, thank you. So yeah, one shot kill will get us bingo in two different ways. Thank you, Psionic. Appreciate it. Thank you, Colfax, for shouting out the league. Just one more time, exclamation point league, guys. If you want a chance to get some awesome cards and a dope list chaos sticker, basically this sticker, but with the ships like closer to the text here. Uh all of that for five bucks. It's gonna be six rounds. Uh, over six weeks so one game a week and then we have a we have a cut to top eight we have a single day playoff and the winner uh, of the uh of the, the playoff gets a server uh emote of their choice designed by me or created by me rather and on top of a couple of other cool things like polaroo card set and the league champion role in our discord as well so there's two thermal detonator drops Shooting forward, three forward. Bomber's not long for this world, especially facing the other way. The lock is spent. Three sloop. So good. Just gets elusive back. And locking with R3. So there goes lock on Kylo. There goes the lock on red. And Elusive's back. It's so good! Oh, it's so good. And here we go, shooting forward with Red. Red's like, yo, you can't ionize us now. Technically, it was yellow that was being ionized, but still. And boosting at a range one. Kylo, one hard. Probably going to spend that force again. Maybe he's just going to do a regular boost. Because if Luke goes down... There are two thermal detonators directly under Luke right now. Oh boy, a one bank from Luke. Looks really good. He does a Talon roll. Oh no. Oh no, he can't have a, he's not gonna have a shot. Oh boy, Desmond loves it. He loves it so much. <laughs> the only thing, it's gonna be four dice. But only modifying his dice with the force does not have a lock on Luke right now. But here is a chance to get some serious damage into Luke Skywalker. He do oh, he does have a lock somewhere. Where was the... Oh. Uh, where was the lock from? I don't see it. That's going to be... Hit, hit. Yeah, he takes it all. Oh my god. Disable power regulator. Luke is ionized. R5, help me, please. Predator, thank you very much. I forgot he had it. He hadn't been using it, obviously, until now. So Luke is halved. And here we go with the shots into the bomber. Range three first, three on three. So hit crits. Gets paint, spends, safe. With the range three, the range one is the scary one. Here we go. War dice. Not great so far. Spend the lock because you got you, you you take it for this reason and this reason alone. That's three to crit. Two evades because of course takes hit crit and dies. R yellow would have been a good in a good spot here. Really, you know, it, it sucks.
So you know where Luke's going to be. The only ship that can help out Luke is going to be uh, yellow. But only the one bank clears stress in that direction. So 69 to... Nice. To 129. It, but it feels closer than it looks. Kylo hasn't taken any damage yet. Kylo, you know, Kylo and the Whisper, he ain't bad. He's not, he doesn't do the same kind of consistent damage that the Silence for Kylo does, but he's also a lot cheaper. Look at all those upgrades you can fit on him. And still have three buddies with a bunch of upgrades, too. You're one away from half on yellow as well. Yellow does have the lock, though, so I think a one bank and a focus, you might boost if you feel comfortable enough with it. But no chance for R5 here, because Luke can only focus. So how do you take advantage of that? You probably also jam Luke, so he can't even use the focus, but he's got his force, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Because if, if Luke rolls two eyeball results, he's still just... Red, trying to get close. He still just spends his force. Going to focus. Ooh, uh, do you still have Arc on Luke with the one forward? I think you do, but he's not facing the right way right now. Focus rotate. Can they focus rotate? Focus rotate, yeah. Roll and rotate. He, there's the roll. Good call, Catherine. Rot rotato. Domo origato, Mr. Rotato. Doing that one forward now. So, Matt has been ionized three times. Um, so, the ions have been doing work, but unexpected with how Luke gets ionized. Obviously, no twerps were shot at him. Sitting there with a focus. This could kill Luke. It's a good start. You spend it. That's hit, hit, crit. Luke needs to. He dies. Luke dies. Oh, Luke. No. Oh. Oh, and folks, it's not over yet. It is not over yet. 106 to 129, no plasmas, no R5s were used in the making of this game. That was a big help there. You do not have to worry about Luke being behind you the next turn. So here we go, three on three. That's hit, hit oh my god, hit, hit, crit. And Kylo's like, are you freaking unbelievable? Three of AIDS! Kylo! Kylo will show you the dark side with these dice. Oh, man. Hit the Wilhelms for that. Just one. Fire control doesn't work. Kylo gets his fo spends a force. Oh, boy. Oh my. All right. So this is where we do redeem Natty's G. Oh my God. We did get the one shot kill though. So we do officially hit bingo. Congratulations, everyone. Bingo is ours. So again, go to our discord, claim bingo in the weekly bingo card. Just hit that bingo emote if you haven't already. Get those 500 credits and I'll pay them out. We got it direct in the red. Added, you see, if you're paying way better attention than I am, uh, you know, because he died at that point. Didn't really matter in terms I or matter for me paying attention to it, but thank you for making paying attention. Uh we didn't get we got a reroll uh I blank to eyeball. So we'll see if we can how much more we can fill out here. What a game, guys! And again, if 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 you didn't have an uh, a, a fully health a full health yellow bomber flying off the board here, who knows? This would be is Deslin would probably have the lead. He might have even killed Red. Here we go, Red turning in, taking a focus of 4K in front of Kylo here. You the hope is maybe you just block Kylo, taking the focus with pattern analyzer again. So good. Ooh. You focus jam. 
I don't think you go anywhere. I think you focus jam. Taking the evade? No jam. Huh. Okay. Arc dodge leveling Luke's Talon roll. Uh... Uh, it happened to be an arc dodge, but like he didn't like he didn't like deliberately arc dodge, right? It just happened to work out that way. I I, I see your point, I do. But I'm gonna be a tyrant, like a, I'm gonna be dark tyrannus when it comes to uh, I'm gonna say no on that one. Hit hit crit, <laughs> but I see your point. <laughs> Two evades, spend the evade three. Unbelievable how hard it is. To deal damage to this guy. But Matt didn't take any damage there. So that's I call that a win. Kylo is a little trapped here in the corner. I think we see a one bank, one bank. And you just sit there with the focus. You've got the locks. Kylo's gonna have to jam off something if he can. He totally called the talon. You know what? I didn't see the talon roll there at all. I was. It, uh, honestly, I would have just done a, like, if, obviously, in the moment, you don't know. But Matt just doing a one bank would have been, he would have been in a, an incredible position because he would have just barrel rolled. So the Talon roll was a little surprising because it, it would have been hard for Kylo to be in front of Luke there. So. so I don't know if he called the Talon, but it really did work out. And it made Deslin look great, even though Deslin is great. It made him look great, that's for damn sure. One bank. There's the, the first one bank. Take a focus. That's like, screw it, I'm just gonna grab the focus token. One bank, take a focus. Kylo, right there in front of both. Daredevil does not get him out of yellow. It does not appear. Yeah, no hard tree from Kylo. That would have been nice with the boost, too. Now, gonna check for a jam. So, that's to spend the force to do that daredevil y boost. Extreme maneuvers. Which is now five points. Makes sense. It's just so good. So, here we go with Kylo. Kylo gonna spend the force. That's hit, hit, crit. Matt needs some results. He only rolls. One penny reroll with elusive for a blank. This has to spend the focus. And red, red dies. That is massive. Huge. Oh man, 137, 129. Range one back into Kylo. Double modded. Hope for something. Spend the lock. Or you got FCS. You don't have to spend the lock. Make it four with the focus. Two, three, and four. Kylo has a force taking two. That's shields. One away from half. We got ourselves a game. Like I said, it was going to be a game. Didn't expect to turn off the board. So we have a a, a uh, we have an E wing that's one from half, and we have a Kylo that's one from half. Kylo has burned through a lot of his force. He's got only one because of that end phase recovery there. Probably gonna dial in a sloop. I would imagine, like up, you know, this way, this way. Oh man, Matt still got the lock. This is this is tricky for him. Um, he's got to find a way to kill or have and stay at two shields. I mean, if he kills, he still wins, obviously. But that is looking. That's a very fragile one shield right there on that E wing.
Doesn't? Slid doesn't three hard. Barrel roll. Ooh, I don't like if Kylo just did a hard turn here. Yeesh. Three bank. Okay. Focus rotate. Easy opportunity to get get uh, get that last shield down. All Matt has is a reroll. That's only one though. Woo! There's one. You get exactly one. But Matt is losing by eight points with 25 minutes left in the game. I thought we were gonna have a, a quick, you know, game end in the next couple of minutes, but we might go to time here. Both of these players are really, really good players. It is a privilege to have them here and to be able to watch them play any time. I had the honor to actually play Matt twice in our, the tournament in Arkansas I was just at. He beat me both times, so we had some good games. <laughs> All right, they're marking the five forward. Oh man, red dying there. Oh! Whew. Brutal. But really, I mean, the play of the game is the way Luke went down. Full plasmas, full regen, gets ionized. Any other, any other, if he, if he was first player, he would have been able to R5 disabled power regulator. So. Back to dials again. Kylo coming in. I don't know. I think a slew, sloop might hit the debris. Is it blank to blank? I take your word for it. I honestly don't remember that, but I take the word for it. There it is. Nice. One more time. Why not? Bingo! Ooh, that's a bingo. Kylo with the barrel roll. He did the two forward in the barrel roll. This is an uphill battle for Matt. No shot. Does Matt like 4K? Oh, does Deslin call the 4K? Oh, man. Too hard, that is aggressive. One hard, oh, he thought he'd 4K. But now he can do the Daredevil, ooh. Ooh la la, has to spend the force, that's fine. And he can, oh my God. Oh, it's so good, it's so frustrating how good it is. Range one. This is this is probably what does that that last damage needed. Ouch! You need three evades. He gets all oh, elusive, elusive. Show me it, Matt. Show me the re, re roll to the evade. Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm too good to be true. One sixty nine. Nice to one twenty nine. Oh. Oh, that would have been awesome. I mean, it's just the hard one's the right move, right? Because it... You can go anywhere. Yeah, now shooting away. That uh, extreme maneuvers just gives you so much, so many options. Now we're running away again. You probably just do it... If you're mad, I think you just do a two bank, even though you stay stressed. And then you can four forward the next turn. The dial with R3 is not good. Does not give you... It's the one banks, one forward, all the way to the four forward. Are, are blues. That's all you got. Otherwise, the dial, it has flexibility. Like, it has pretty much every, you know, maneuver that you would like. Except for, like, a, zero, a white zero stop. Or blue zero stop. 
Can you imagine? Oh my god, that'd be horrible. Oh, this is tough. If we can get find some way for Matt to like sneak in a couple more damage. Kylo's one away from half. Half points on Kylo really isn't that much. It might it, you would I think you're losing by just a few points. You get half on Kylo. 36 points or 35 points yeah you're losing by a few still but baby steps hey david how are you i'm pulling for the e-wings guys i'm pulling for them i'm wearing the e-wing shirts Oh, get a jam. Bullseye jam. Or oh, I think range 2 and bullseye, though, for a jam. Yeah, that's definitely not range 2. Three, why not? Three hits. Uh, three base. Doesn't look like Matt's gonna be able to shoot. Yeah, way too far to jam. Thank God it's not just anywhere in Bullseye, you know. It at least has a restriction. I still wish it was just range, you know, range 0 to 1, but that's fine. <laughs> I really don't like enhanced jamming suite. I don't like taking things away from other players, especially for no cost, but it's fine. It is fine, and I'm not just saying that because it's it's worked against the... It's so strong, guys. I'm not going to deny that. It's, But, yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of the pushing for a jamming meta. I'll say that. It's not free. Uh, it's it's. No, I don't think so. I think they they kind of botched that. To be honest, I think they probably it probably should be a little more expensive. But it's not too good. But man, is it is it good? It is good. Barrel roll rotate. Can't barrel roll rotate jam though. At least. Here was the shot. Mm, one crit. Should be fine. Fine. On for those E-wings, guys. These just finally took two weeks. Took so long for these to show up, but I feel like they turned out okay. Honestly. Not bad. Oh, what a game. Seriously. What a game. This is, I hopefully, I get it, like, running away, but for, like, 20 minutes, um, it's a long time. I would love for them to be able to shoot each other, like, one more time. Get back to dials again. Probably do a one bank if you're Matt. Okay, and back to it. Here we go. One bank. Take a focus. Three hard. Barrel roll. Okay. Rotate forward. Think of one forward. You got three health. You have a little bit of health to work to work with here. You also have the lock already, so the jam like is gonna take away. Probably wants to jam away the focus because of damage. You obviously don't want to go too fast. There's the one forward, focus. Three hard probably from Kylo. Three hard. Boost forward should fit. But if you boost, you're not you're not giving yourself a focus, and you're not giving yourself a lock. You could jam here range two. You probably just focus jams at range two or lock jams. 
Focus Jam? Sure, why not? Why not take away the green tokens? Taking an Evade. Okay. Here we go. Not jamming, though. Uh, Reroll here for an Eyeball. Spending the Force for three. Oh, no. Elusive here for the game. That's the game! Brutal. What a game, though. Unbelievable. GG's, guys. Good game. Let's jump down. Two okay, that was, that was ridiculous. It yeah, kind of was. That, that whole game was absurd. I mean, like, what, what crazy swings. I guess there's something about Matt Carey and flying ships off the board that I need to be concerned about. <laughs> it's like some sort of spell you, you cast your opponent. But it might be like, opponent. my dice were, like, extremely hot in, the, like, the first, like, four engagements. Yeah. And yeah, then Luke, were... Luke yeah. dies to two shots. It was, it was a crazy game. That, the, so... Let's talk about what happened with Luke there. The Talon roll. Um, did you see the Talon roll coming, Scott? Like, I did. was that you? So that's so interesting to me. I thought maybe you would have banked there, Matt. Like that you would have done like a one or two bank. Yeah. I talon was, roll. That was wow. <laughs> it was it was between a two hard and a Talon roll, and I figured I would have enough coverage with the E wings. I didn't think I would take four damage there, and yeah, I took four damage there and got ionized, and yeah. that that doesn't work out. <laughs> no, I mean, if you were first player, you would have been able to R5 the DPR, but, like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's also where that comes into play, too. But, man, wow, that was... That was intense. That was really intense. Um, the way it ended there was <laughs> just disappointing for the E-Wing, obviously. The elusive yeah. re-roll into a blank again. It's like, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Because, man, if elusive feels like it's worth, like, more than two points in some of my games, and then I get plenty of times where it's just kind of potential insurance that just goes wasted but yeah i don't think when it works I, it works i i don't think i re-rolled into an evade ever i think i re-rolled into a focus once or twice but yeah. not an evade yeah. yeah when you don't have a green token it's it feels yeah. pretty useless it's just kind of you have to expect that it's not going to help you out yeah but when it does it's it's just massive and yeah man i mean you got a taste of pattern analyzer and and uh, elusive it's a good pairing it's a good time